You know, I've been drawing cars since I was two and a half years old. Age eight, my parents took me to the Philadelphia Auto Show and I saw the Cadillac Cyclone on display. And I told my parents at that moment, I was eight years old, and I told them, when I grow up, I want to be a car designer for that company. That's my story. I'm lucky enough to have worked for Bill Mitchell. When I started GM, Bill Mitchell was running the, the shop. And uh, I worked in advanced studios. And the first thing I worked on, and it was just a little project, they always give the rookie something small, was to design a tail lamp for a Pontiac. And I was so excited about designing the tail lamp. You know, that's all it was. When I took over as the head of GM Design, one of the most special cars of all of them was the Stingray Racer. And by that time, it was pretty worn, it was pretty tired, it was not seen publicly as often, and it was one of the absolute first decisions I made, first orders that I made when I took over, was to have that car restored. We didn't send it off to one of the great restoration shops in the world. We restored it in the shops right there at Design. The folks who do all of our concept development were responsible for the restoration. The car means so much to me and to, to all of us who love Corvette. And there's a bit of that car in every Corvette that's been done since then. It's the proportion, it's the form vocabulary, but I think it's the emotion, the passion that's in that car that is that just says Stingray. And as we started work on this all new car, the C7, I wanted that emotion, that passion that was in the very original Stingray racer to be a part of this car. A lot of the, the muscle tension that you see in the car comes from that original design. The sum of the, this whole vehicle is absolutely amazing. But if I think of any individual elements, it would have to be the shapes of the fenders, the front fender and how this long line you know, really begins up by the air exit and runs the length of the car. The interior is a huge surprise to everyone. They love the exterior, they get excited about the exterior, and they hear about the performance and they love it. Then you open the door and you see this interior that we totally started over with. You know, customers said they hated the seats in the old car. We redesigned the seats from the actual frame of the seat on up and all the structure and the support and the comfort that it has. And all the materials and finishes throughout the interior, real leathers and carbon fiber and real metals throughout and, and reconfigurable clusters and that type of thing, just make it a wonderful environment to be in. Do I have a hidden studio? Yes, I have a hidden studio. And we call it Studio X. Bill Mitchell had a Studio X. It was a great idea. You know, because every now and then you want to work on a project in a very quiet location, without the interruption. You don't want certain people. Very few people know where Studio X is, including the employees at Design. But in that studio, we did some of the very early work on the Camaro concept, the original Camaro concept. We had to do it in secret. There was some work we did on Stingray there. We did the presidential limousine, the Beast, in Studio X. You know, I've been coming to Amelia Island for many years now. I've been a judge here for, I don't know, 10 years. You know, time flies and you're having fun and I have a lot of fun when I come to Amelia Island. It's like, it's in some ways like a pilgrimage to come here. Bill Warner is so creative in the way he does this. His love for automobiles mixed with his love for jazz music, which you, you'll hear playing while you're looking at the cars. The judging team is, is cool. I mean, it's one reason why I enjoy coming down. It's like a fraternity, you know, and, it's, and they come from so many great backgrounds and as teams we really get serious about it. I'm not looking, you know, does it have the correct, you know, switch and lug nut and, and all of that. I mean, that's important to many people and, and I understand and respect that. But for me and in the judging team that I'm involved in, it's all about design.